Hello, chicklets. Everyone did so good this week. Moondog. Everything does sound better chipmunkified. And Changu, congrats, you got retweeted by Carmen Music. And Gretchen, just start your own music channel already. Jim Llama Music, I think that's available. My fascination with karaoke is I get the chance to sing because I enjoy singing, though I cannot sing well. But being able to sing with the theatrics that I sing with is very... I don't know, it's just very enjoyable to me. It's always a fun group thing to do because you can't karaoke by yourself. That's just sad. But that's what makes this challenge really hard because I am by myself. Oh, this is gonna be so weird. So two songs that are stuck in my head right now are Party Rock Anthem because every time they have that breakdown part, I don't even dance to it. I do almost this Night of the Rocks very like head bob, but also with my shoulders. Shake that. It's weird. And Eye to Eye by Powerline from the Goofy movie. I actually sang that song with my roommate Marty earlier in the year. I'll leave a link to that in the doobly-doo. My favorite part of the song is like the bridge going up into the chorus, which is what I'll probably be singing. The words are, if you're ever lonely, stop. You don't have to be. After all, it's only a beat away from you to me. When I hear that, I just instantly get into a better mood because you have people who care about you in your lives and you're only a heartbeat away. At least that's what I'm getting. Here it goes. If you're ever lonely, stop. You don't have to be. After all, it's only a beat away from you to me. If we listen to each other's hearts, we'll find we're never too far apart. And maybe love is the reason why, for the first time ever, we're we'll seeing it eye to eye. <sighs> oh, Gretchen, you're right. That was weird. All right, that's the challenge. Great week to everyone. Chicklets, don't forget to like, comment, and favorite the video. And don't forget to leave a video response because tomorrow we will be featuring your responses to this week's challenge.